Yes. Um, so uh, this is, again, my personal opinion. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a very strong proponent for open source projects. Uh, I think that, again, what, and it, having the ability for everybody to look at the code um, and uh, having an ability to um, to review and to Im improve the, the security is great. Um, but 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 there's kind of there is a fine line there, and and I think you know, obviously the, the that does work when um, the good guys are looking at the code. Um, it doesn't always work when the bad guys are looking at the code, and the good guys aren't spending enough time looking at the code. Um, and and I think you know w one of the things that, that that I learned through this this process was um, there's some really good uh, smart contract auditors out there. This is obviously a very new field, um, probably only about two years old, I, I would say, in terms of the industry. Um, and, 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 and I learned a lot by reading those reports in terms of how to attack the smart contracts, which things to look for. Um, so it was great for me learning, uh, but was it all necessary for me to know that? And I think um, where the balance comes is the, the stakeholders, you know, they want to see that an audit was done, you know, hopefully by a reputable company or you know, somebody that's done a lot of these before. Um, they want to know the results. You know, was there vulnerabilities? Were there not? They, they actually want to know that the vulnerabilities have been fixed and they want to know that it's happening on a regular basis. Um, do they want to know all the detail? Um, you know, for, for, for me, that, that, that's kind of maybe going a little bit too far. Um, and, and, and so, yeah, so I, I think it's, um, you know, it, it's, a, um, it's just finding that right balance. Um, by, by showing everything, it does create a level of confidence that um, an audit actually did happen. It was a real audit. Uh, it wasn't somebody um, that didn't know what they were doing, you know, saying everything's okay. Um, there was a methodology that was followed, uh, et cetera. But again, you know, maybe an executive summary might, might be good enough. And then those that are interested could potentially request a full audit um, if, for example, they're looking to invest a lot of money on that platform. Um, so that, that, that's typically how, how I think it, 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 it should work in, in the future. Yes, um, so DEFI is not regulated. That, that, that's, that's correct. Um, and, and, I, and, and I agree. And I think that um, what, what is going to happen in, in this space is, is that um, we, we're going to see, I mean, the SEC is starting to regulate some forms of cryptocurrency, some forms of tokens. There's definitely a move um, from traditional finance, look at JP Morgan, you know, Goldman Sachs, um, you know, they, they, they all have their own projects, they're all using their own coins or their own technologies or, or banding together with Ripple and, 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 other, and other things. So I, I do think that, um, my, I guess my, my personal view or prediction here you know, is, is this, this is going to transform finance. Uh, we, we may shift from the open source projects into the closed source environments. Uh, you've got, you know, Hashgraph doing its, its, its own thing as well. Um, and and um, and so I, I think that um, for some of the, the more material um, applications that, that you will find more closed communities uh, forming than some of the open source communities. But uh, certainly the regulator in the UK um, is, is taking a very positive view towards, um, you know, uh, cryptocurrency and they've got the concept of sandboxes, uh, which, which allow, uh, allow crypto projects to kind of, um, you know, Operate um, and 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 then the, the the FCA the regulator also learns from that as well and sees what, what are the best practices, what goes wrong, and also what are the kind of things that they want to mandate for the future. Um, so uh, yeah, so, so I, I, I do think that it, that, it, that it's coming. Um, but again, there's some amazing opportunities here, um, and that's probably why you know Defi literally you know if you look at that graph from the one billion to four billion in three or four months. Um, okay, maybe it's because the crypto markets also improved, but um, it, it does unlock huge potential for uh, many people that potentially can't do these wonderful asset swaps, derivatives, etc. Um, you know, uh, on, on the on, on the on the on the general markets. Um, I think the other thing that, that's interesting here is um, obviously that the, the state of the world that we're in today. Um, you know, capitalism isn't working. Um, you know, again, interest rates are low. Um, is, it is quite hard to find the alpha or the, the value. And that's why potentially there's a number of people shifting into these platforms, even though there's high volatility and risk um, in, in, in order to, you know, to try and boost uh, a percentage of uh, revenue. Uh, and that goes for the, crim the criminals as well. Um, so, uh, yeah. And, and, 
uh, and I agree. I mean, th there is a bit regulation. Uh, the, the centralization kind of goes against the principles of decentralization, which I appreciate too. Uh, but but ultimately, it's going to be up to the users to decide. Um, would they rather put their, their money into something that has a bit of safety, there's a trade-off, um, or does it want to go, you know, do they want to go fully decentralized? And what are the benefits of that? Because the decentralization is great for certain things, but for certain use cases, perhaps um, it's, it's not necessarily um, quiet. Uh, and, and again, that, that, you know, this will play out as the industry continues to uh, develop and evolve. Great, thank you very much. I appreciate it and enjoy the rest of your, your con. <laughs>